Look around, everyone. Life can be very unpredictable at times, and everything can change in a split second, both for very bad as well as for very good. And then there's videos like these, where logic and reason take a serious vacation, and the end result defies all our expectations. But would we have it any other way? Probably not. The breadth of awesomeness captured here in these clips falls into many categories, the first of which being what we're all here for today. 15 incredible moments caught on camera. Tractor saves the day. When a crop fire begins, it tends to spread at an incredibly rapid pace, causing huge amounts of destruction in the process. Even the smallest crop fire can expand to engulf the entire field. When this happens, it spells doom, not just for the farmer, but for everybody that relies on the farmer's goods. Because crop fires spread so quickly, firefighters have a hard time stopping them before an irreversible degree of damage has been done. That's why one farmer in Weld County, Colorado decided to take matters into his own hands when a massive crop fire threatened his livelihood back in 2013. The farmer's heroic efforts were captured in this video, which begins by showing a fire truck struggling to reach the blaze as it grows from 20 to 30 acres. It then shows us the quick-thinking farmer using the modest tractor to harvest the crops that are closest to the ever-expanding flames. By getting these crops out of the way before the fire can reach them, the farmer gives the blaze nowhere to go, leaving it to stagnate until the local fire department is able to reach it and put it to rest. While the farmer may have lost 30 acres of his beloved crop field, his bravery saved him a full 50 acres and earn him the respect of firefighters and farmers all over the world. Fasten your seatbelts because it's time for today's sweet topic. This drone accidentally made a chilling discovery after spotting this in the middle of nowhere, a secret military base. The world's weirdest, most secret military bases run the gamut from hazardous mountaintop forts to seemingly impenetrable underground bunkers. Take Mount Weather Virginia, for example. Some call it America's brainstem, Others describe it as an unacknowledged continuity of government facility. In other words, the U.S. president's bunker in case of a disaster. An hour's drive from Washington, D.C., the Mount Weather High Point Special Facility is a top security underground facility with its own replica mini-government, police, fire department, and even laws. It's rumored to hold files on Americans and a studio for post-nuclear presidential broadcasts. Enter at your own peril. It's managed by disaster relief agencies, according to reports. But some say that's not true. It's a possible cover-up. Surrounded by tall, razor wire fencing, its sign warns, no trespassing, and they mean it. Judging by the number of military vehicles and supplies in this image, this secret base is a huge operation, a big secret that seems hard to keep, don't you think? Comment below with the hashtag sweet topic. Pier skating, kiteboarding, is an adrenaline-raising sport that's pretty much exactly what it sounds like. It involves participants being pulled across a body of water by a large kite while attempting to remain upright on a specially designed board. It's a relatively new sport that seems to be gaining more interest with each passing day. Much of kiteboarding's increasing popularity is due to the efforts of Nick Jacobson. Born in Denmark and raised in Cape Town, South Africa, Nick Jacobson is one of the best-known kiteboarders in the world. He's built himself an incredible online following through his incredible kiteboarding stunts, such as the one seen in this piece of footage. Here, we see Jacobson attempting to assert his dominance in two sports at once, and he does a pretty good job of doing so. The video begins with Jacobson careening across the water on his kiteboard, a sight his followers have grown very much used to. But as he approaches the pier, the Denmark native jumps from his kiteboard and onto a skateboard that's waiting for him on land. After effortlessly skating across the pier, he jumps back into the water and resumes his kiteboarding adventures. The whole thing happens in one smooth motion and is just over 10 seconds. But in those 10 seconds, Jacobson has lived more than many people do in 80 years. Life-size Hot Wheels Hot Wheels is known the world over for the beloved scale model cars that it's been manufacturing for more than 50 years. If you played with these toys when you were a kid, you probably remember the elaborate tracks and playsets that Hot Wheels released to accompany the Matchbox cars, which often featured massive loops and towering ramps for the cars to perform death-defying stunts. These playsets provided countless hours of entertainment for countless children all over the world, but it was a fantasy. Obviously, no vehicle could actually perform the magnificent feats of a Hot Wheels car in real life, or could it? 
The folks over at Hot Wheels decided to answer this question once and for all back in 2011 when they placed a daredevil known only as the yellow driver behind the wheel of a branded Hot Wheels truck. The vehicle was placed on top of a 90-foot high ramp designed to mimic the toy manufacturer's V-Drop playset. After taking the truck speeding down the ramp, the yellow driver flew an incredible 332 feet through the air before coming to a rest on a separate platform. In doing so, he absolutely smashed the world record for longest ramp-to-ramp -ramp jump while giving us truly hair-raising footage in the process. <laughs> Pointless tricks When the yellow driver performed the adrenaline-pumping stunt we just saw, he was motivated by a desire to break the Guinness World Record for the longest ramp-to-ramp -ramp jump. So he wasn't just showing off for the sake of showing off. The same cannot be said of the individual in this next piece of footage who's shown performing what many TikTok users have described as little more than a pointless trick. But as pointless as this trick may be, it's nothing short of incredible. Video of the trick shows the uploader standing high above a murky river, holding a tennis ball in one hand and a very, very expensive looking smartphone in the other. He begins the video by bouncing the tennis ball off the ground a number of times. He then moves on to bouncing the ball off his phone occasionally using his phone as a tennis racket, which is actually pretty impressive by itself. Then the real fun begins. After shooting the tennis ball upwards, the DIY stuntman throws his phone into the air. After catching the ball, he somehow manages to position it under his phone just in time for the electronic device to land on top of it perfectly upright. We don't know how the uploader managed to perfect this stunt, but we're guessing it took him a whole lot of hours and quite a few iPhones. Here's your coaster. Some bartenders don't mind if their customers don't use a coaster. Others, however, are so passionate about their patrons doing so that you'd swear they've invested their entire life savings in coasters. Then there are some bartenders that advocate the use of coasters simply because it gives them a chance to show off their mad skills. Take the barman in this video, for example. Here we see a customer enjoying a cool can of beer in a packed bar. It looks like a pretty fun evening, and everything seems to be going smoothly, with the exception of the fact that he has neglected to place a coaster under his can. The busy barman notices this and decides that asking the patron to use a coaster would be a waste of time. Instead, he whips out a coaster and flings it under the patron's beer without ever leaving his post behind the bar. The customer, his drinking buddy, and a few other eagle-eyed customers are understandably stunned by the barman's incredible precision, but the barman himself reacts like it's no big deal. We're guessing this is just a part of his daily routine behind the bar. He probably does it as instinctively as he pours a beer or kicks out a troublemaker. <laughs> Crashed Ice Crashed Ice is an extreme sport pioneered by the Red Bull organization, which makes sense because this sport could only be conceived by somebody who drank five cans of Red Bull before walking into their pitch meeting. Branded as the fastest sport on skates, Crashed Ice sees its adrenaline junkie participants skating in urban environments which typically feature a lot of ramps, jumps, sharp turns, and obstacles. It can get pretty barbaric but it's truly a fascinating sport to watch. But even more fascinating than the sport itself is the GoPro footage shot by those who compete in it. We have an example of that footage here. This video was recorded from the point of view of Claudio Calori, one of the most famous figures in crashed ice. The footage documents what he saw as he tore through one of Red Bull's most treacherous crashed ice courses. It takes us through a stunning series of high-speed near misses and direct hits. The video even closes with Calori colliding with the barrier at the end of the course. Thankfully, the barrier was padded, so he was able to make it out relatively unscathed. But as crashed ice courses become increasingly hazardous, this may not always be the case for the sport's favorite son. Tornado enters game. Children's sports get a bit of a bad rap. A lot of people write them off as tedious affairs full of boring and clumsy playing. We disagree with this reputation. To the contrary, we think that a children's soccer match can make for a seriously entertaining afternoon of sport. You never know what you're going to see at one of those games, while you might even lay eyes on one of the great players of the future. Failing that, you may just get to see a tornado rip through the pitch, sending players and spectators scattering. This is exactly the scene that played out during a recent children's soccer match in Peru. As parents and guardians eagerly cheered on the young players, a powerful wind came blowing in from across the sea, taking with it heaps of sand and dust to create a swirling vortex of chaos, at least by junior sports standards. In reality, the tornado was pretty minor and didn't have much potential for destruction. 
but that doesn't make this video of it hurtling around the pitch any less incredible. Here we see the tornado picking up speed and increasing in size as the baffled players look on, wondering if they should run or continue playing. In the end, they opted to leave the pitch, but they certainly should be commended for the bravery they displayed and even considering carrying on with their game. We're sure some Premier League players would have used the tornado as an excuse to fall to the ground and demand a penalty. Walking on ice Scientists believe that life first crawled out of the ocean and onto land about 400 million years ago. A lot has taken place since then. We've seen the dinosaurs, Christianity, the Beatles, and the dawn of TikTok, which are basically four of the most important things to ever happen, right? Now, after all this time, it looks like we're getting ready for another round of ocean to land evolution, and the following video may document the literal first step in that process. This video was uploaded to Reddit about two years ago, where it set the website on fire and sent fear down deep into the heart of everybody who viewed it. And we're sure you'll agree, the terror these Redditors felt upon watching this footage was very much justified. The video shows a mass of carp standing upright on a large patch of ice. The fish seems to have the presence of mind to utilize its fins as legs, which would suggest it's been preparing for its journey to the surface for quite some time. If you ask us, the most terrifying aspect of this video is the fact that the fish seems to be very comfortable out of water. It doesn't appear to be struggling to breathe, nor does it seem all that startled by the human who's recording its incredible ascent. Is this the first of many carp to master breathing on land? And if so, do we need to be worried about what's to come? Court cops. In the summer of 2019, a group of teenagers were unknowingly enjoying the final normal summer of their childhood. Unaware of the catastrophic global events around the corner, they spent their summer evenings just as they had always spent them before, and that meant getting together at a local basketball court to socialize and shoot some hoops. Apparently, they were doing a little too much of the former as police were eventually called to the court by a resident of a house close to the basketball court. Police officers arrived at the basketball court and explained to the teenagers that they had received a noise complaint. Although the officers initially told the group of friends that they had no choice but to issue them with a ticket for their truly unruly behavior, they eventually made a deal with the young basketballers. They would forget all about the ticket if one of the teenagers was able to hit a successful half-court shot. Much to the surprise of the cops, one of the teenagers accepted the deal. To their further surprise, this daring teen successfully put the ball through the hoop without ever leaving the half-court line. The video of the shot is as incredible as it is heartwarming. It's truly great to see law enforcement and teenagers getting along in such a stark contrast to the heated interactions that many have come to expect between the two groups. Flipping hat. If there's one thing TikTok has taught us, it's that kids these days are very, very good at gymnastics. The app is flooded with the videos of young men and women flipping and rolling in every direction and we're very much here for it. Seriously, we think the stunts these kids are able to pull off are absolutely amazing. To support our argument, we'd like to enter the following piece of footage into evidence. This video was recorded with the aim of showcasing the magnificent athletic talents of a young student, an aim it achieved and then some. The teenage male begins his stunt by running across a gymnastics track mat with his hands hanging firmly by his side. With perfect form, he executes a stunning front flip and effortlessly lands on his feet. It's a very impressive feat, but it's overshadowed by a similar stunt performed by the young man's hat. The hat, which the teenager is wearing at the beginning of the flip, comes loose as he flips and performs a flip of its own. It rotates in the air and comes to rest back on its owner's head just as his feet touch the ground. It's the kind of thing that happens once in a hundred lifetimes, and we're willing to bet nobody would have believed the young athlete's story had he not caught it on camera. Ride skills. If you needed further proof that today's generation of teenagers possess awe-inspiring athletic prowess, you're in luck because we have that further proof right here. This video shows a young man standing upright in the center of a circular amusement park ride. All other riders are seated in the cushioned chairs that loop around the interior of the circle. This is exactly where they should be as the ride is in motion and is building up some serious speed. But even with all his fellow riders strapped safely in, the young daredevil chooses to remain standing for reasons that are about to become perfectly clear. With unrelenting confidence in his ability to pull off his potentially deadly stunt, the teenager begins to run against the direction of the swirling ride. 
Once he built up enough speed, he runs up to the one row of empty seats and launches himself into the air. Propelling his body backwards, he performs an incredible backflip and lands it with pinpoint accuracy in the center of the still-spinning amusement park ride. Forget about amusement parks, this kid should be performing at circuses across the world. His death-defying stunts could earn him some serious money under the big tops. Ring of Death A lot of people are of the belief that all ants are blind, which is actually a common misconception. In reality, most ants have pretty good vision and are able to rely on their eyesight to navigate the surface world before returning to their homes below ground. This isn't the case across the board, however. The army ant is entirely blind and must rely on pheromone trails to find its way around both inside and outside the ant hill. Army ants move in massive groups of up to 200,000 ants. This makes keeping track of pheromone trails a challenge and can lead to confusion. When this happens, the result is almost always fatal for the entire colony. When a pheromone trail is lost, each ant simply follows the trail of the ant in front of it. This eventually leads to the army ants marching in an infinite loop known as an ant mill. After marching in this manner for hours on end and often under extreme heat, these confused ants begin to die of exhaustion and drop off one by one until all have fallen victim to the curse of the ant mill. This video was recorded by a YouTuber who noticed a large quantity of ants following each other in a circle in their garden. They spent several minutes recording the ant mill, unaware that they were watching the destruction of a colony in real time. The resulting footage is truly haunting and is a harsh reminder of the dangers of herd mentality and blindly following our leaders. Sinkhole Swallows Car One of the most terrifying things about sinkholes is that they can open up anywhere without any warning. This is exactly what happened in southern Brazil to a woman by the name of Vanessa Cavagnoli. Cavagnoli was driving down a quiet street in her home country with her daughter in the passenger seat. Then, out of nowhere, she found herself plummeting into a hole in the road. Both her and her daughter were trapped in their vehicle for several minutes before they managed to force their way out. They were later pulled up from the sinkhole by a kind-hearted stranger who had to stand on the hood of Cavagnoli's car to reach the pair. The entire terrifying incident was captured on CCTV. The recording begins with a truck driving over what looks to be a perfectly paved road. In reality, the road is more than 50 years old, so it's really no surprise that the sinkhole Cavagnoli would later drive into opens up under the weight of the truck. What unfolds after the sinkhole materializes is the stuff of nightmares, but at least we can take solace in the fact that both Cavagnoli and her daughter survived the incident with only minor injuries. Kayak Row Kayaking isn't exactly a sport known for its many audacious stunts, but it does have one stunt that's absolutely incredible when performed correctly. That stunt is known as a kayak roll. A kayak roll is performed by the kayaker intentionally capsizing their vessel so that both they and their kayak are pointing downwards into the water with the kayaker's body fully submerged beneath the waves. After remaining in this position for as long as possible, the daredevil then rights the kayak and themselves. A kayak roll is an amazing sight when performed under any circumstances, but the one performed in the following piece of footage may just be the kayak roll to end all kayak rolls. This video opens with a kayaker enjoying a cold beer during a relaxing lake outing. After enjoying a mouthful of his adult beverage, he intentionally tips his kayak over until all that remains above water is his hand and the beer he's holding it in. He then rests the beer on the base of the kayak before submerging his hand in the water and grabbing the can anew with his other hand. Once his precious cargo is firmly in his hand once more, the boozy kayaker rights his boat and enjoys a drink well earned. Goalkeeper Nostalgia If you're a soccer fan, you might remember the 1967 Merseyside Derby in which Liverpool defeated Everton in a hard-fought fifth game in the fifth round of that year's FA Cup competition. Or maybe you don't remember it, in which case you're not alone. A lot of pedestrians had no memory of the game when they were asked about it during a 2015 interview segment conducted by the BBC on a Liverpool street. But one person has actually remembered the game very well. After stopping an elderly gentleman and asking for his recollection of that particular Merseyside Derby, the unsuspecting BBC reporter was shocked to learn that his humble subject was, in fact, Tommy Lawrence, a bona fide soccer legend. Lawrence revealed that he had competed in the game that was being asked about, telling the reporter, I was goalkeeper for Liverpool. For the rest of the incredible encounter, Lawrence shared his memories of that fateful day, showcasing the power of sport to preserve and maintain passion in competitors even 50 years after their glory days. Okay, that ends this look at 15 more incredible moments caught on camera. Which of these remarkable clips amazed you the most and why? 
Let us know in the comments section and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more mind-blowing examinations of our weird and wonderful world. See you next time.